It took 42 years to travel from Illinois to San Antonio and now Lake St. Louis. Quite the trip and the owner is shocked and thrilled to have it back. Steve Harris shows us how the ring found its way home. He was on the eighth hole when Jackie Shower's husband got the call. And he answers it and it's a gentleman that came from San Antonio, Texas, a gentleman we do not know. And he asks if he knows a woman and he uses my maiden name. So Jackie and her husband Steve were skeptical. What did this guy on the phone want from them? Well, turns out it's what he wanted to give them. See, he'd found a class ring on eBay, Jackie's class ring. Now, this is a ring I had lost in 1979. This ring is from Morton East High School in Cicero, Illinois. So how did it end up in San Antonio? Well, for that answer, you got to meet the guy who made the phone call. Retired school teacher Richard Escobedo. His class ring was stolen in 1987. I'd go to pawn shops, antique stores, anywhere where things were being resold. Um, and um, I would always look for my class ring and I would never find it. But I would see other class rings and I would see them and I would say like, man, if the owner only knew that their ring was being sold. So this became his mission. He buys class rings and using the dates, initials and school names reunites them with their owners. When I find an owner, I always tell them, you know what, I don't want nothing in return. It's on me. Um, because I hope that one day somebody's going to call me and say, Hey, Richard, I found your class ring. He only asked that they post a picture on his Facebook page. Class rings bought to reunite to rightful owners. So far, he's found 49 rings. The day that I find them, like, I get goosebumps because I'm like, yes. Back in Lake St. Louis, Jackie is overwhelmed. It truly is very, very interesting what this gentleman does. And I'm grateful. He, is kind, he has a kind soul. So how much did Richard pay for her ring? $3.25. And 42 years later, it still fits. Sort of. It fits my pinky. Steve Harris, News 4.